mean, he's, he's not striking out at us. Even though I am very suspicious! Oh my god! He's a jumpy boy. He's a jumpy boy. Boop! Yeah. Eat freaking arrow, dog! Oh my god! He just broke- Are you kidding me? He just broke my basket! You Are you serious? Get out of here! Oh my god! That guy's the worst. Episode of Grounded Survival of Planet Your Own Savage. Absolutely incredible day. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I've been chased into this magical looking scientific -y place by a spider that I believe to still be outside of this doorway. Uh, spider, you still over there, bro? <gasps> oh my god! I. Woo! I hear clicky clacks that sound like it might be a spider. Regardless, a spider chased us into here. I'm pretty sure it might still be at the end of that hallway, but. It's okay. So we got a little bit on our plate over here before we make our way back towards the more survival side of things. We're kind of checking out the story for a little bit. And then I do want to head back to base. And ideally, I would like to start planning out our first kind of like base, like proper base with like all the building stuff and whatnot. Then we can go ahead and build up in addition to potentially crafting up some of the better things because we did after all kill our first spider in the last episode which was so freaking hype and we can craft some pretty cool things out of it but we are going to require a workbench first and foremost before we can get some of the more fancier things and i think i might need to go collect some more spider stuff too Ooh, spider noises so we got a work cut out for us and i believe over here there's a little bit of a switch we could pull that may or may not do something so that switch it does not appear to have done anything. So I think this is kind of like the, the, the pretty much workplace of the scientist that shrunk us down to the size of an ant or something like that. So he's who we have to blame. So hey, if you guys don't want to be shrunk down to the size of ants, I, I, I hear if you hit that like button, you have a 100% chance of not... Will that unlock the door actually? Is that what happens? No, still locked. You have a 100% chance of not getting shrunken down to the size of ants and being absolutely shrekt by spiders. If you don't hit that like button, no guarantees. So just trying to help you out. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Ooh, buttons. Reprioritizing grilling. Is that good? Now get on with it. They're all green. Reprioritizing grilling. Woo! I'm big brain baby. Why is there a threat? What happened? It says threat engaged. Is that spider trying to kill us again? I managed to open up the door. What can I say? We big brain out here. Oh my god, is that a robot? Am I being attacked by robots? Hey buddy. You look aggressive. Ah! I'm being attacked by a taser robot! Not what I expected. Not what I expected. He's trying to tase. No, 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 no tase for you. Luckily, if I just time my block trick, get a little bit dodgy. Bro, what can I say? I'm as dodgy as they come. Might as well try to find me in a back alley. That's how dodgy I'm looking. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tase me. Luckily, this robot does not appear to have the concept. Oh, perfect block, baby. The concept of distance. That figured out. See ya! Tase T. Get wrecked, scrub. We got 100 science points from killing that dude. Woo! I'll take that. But uh, yeah, for your like back, if you guys hit that like button, I can guarantee that you won't be shrunk down to the size of ants and attacked by insects that would otherwise be something that you would very easily be able to stomp on. Oh, what in tarnation? This looks fancy. Oh. Did that sound like spider noises to anyone else? I kind of want to see what that orb is down here. Dude, this is taking a turn for the very interesting. I must say. What do we have over here? Burgle? What the Burgle? Come on, come on. Get up, little buddy. Oh, I gotta hold it to help Burgle? Burgle. Oh, he can flip spatulas. I need this man in my life. Burgle! Burgle, I'm not letting up on you, buddy. Get up! I Woo! I am B -B 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 Burgle. Oh, the remix. Manager for this project. <laughs> I am also a robot. Well, dang. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Yeah, please explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. 
I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, oh. so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu -qu -qu questions you might have. Oh no, and we found Burgle. And the story is just getting started. There's still so much more to do and much more of the mystery to uncover. Continue to explore, build bases, take on Burgle quests. Ooh. And provide us feedback on how to make the experience better. We're making new content creatures and stories. Stay tuned for a new update soon. Thank you again for your support and being a part of our community. So I am interested in seeing what quest Burgle might have up his sleeve. But it appears that for the time being, this is the end of the storyline. But that does not mean it is the end of the game. There's still so much we got to do, including obviously on my bucket list, dude. I want to try to aim to have every single craftable thing crafted up, including especially some of these harder things that involve things like spider fangs and whatnot. I'd want to try and kill every type of enemy that there is. I obviously obviously want to build up a dope base and I want to see what what are these quests that Hello Burgle has oh. Manager, B -B Burgle at your service. dude that's really cool I can trade him science oh what is if you have any extra raw science what I'd is that good to, for to, to trade you for it yeah what does raw Bring science do my lost research chips and I'll be able to expand my menu of items interesting ah he has no research cards installed that's a bit of a bummer so he's kind of like a merchant he's like the shopkeeper of things oh i found a burgle chip well, how convenient Howdy. it's good to see you again dude that's so freaking cool so i found With a burgle chip speed increased 0.000000003 dang dude He's hitting Mach 5 speeds, I'm telling you. That's a lot of increase. Is there anything else I can help you with? So now, can I actually do any trade? Ooh, I can. Oh my god, I need a lot more science, though. Dude, look at some of these upgrades we could get. Multi-storied bases. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fortified bases. What in tarnation? Oh my god, I need these in my life. I'm going to have these in my life. A scab scanner module that allows it to detect nearby science. And the torch plus, a torch that's been improved by the power of science, will light your way for a very long time. Well, hot dog. At least we got to turn that thing in over there. So there's still plenty more like things that we can actually explore and do. Uh, nice to see what, do you have any, do you have any work here. for me, buddy? Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. Dang, dude, when's the hit single coming out? He's got some bars. So we got to kill some aphids, analyze quartis, which I don't think we have yet, and the gnat. So can I actually accept all of these? Beautiful, I can. So we have now all three of these underway. And if we kill aphids and gnats, gnats, whatever you want to call them, uh, you can actually, we'll get some science in exchange for that. And if we research quartzite, we'll get some science for that as well. So we definitely got some quests we can undertake. Always with our buddy here and then yeah what should i be doing it. now why don't you work on building a bigger b -b base first it seems like the insects in the yard have been getting a little riled up sounds good can i call my <laughs> parents <laughs> no there is no phone Dang. that is a good idea <laughs> <You> <laughs> <look> <laughs> like you still have <laughs> yeah okay no is i'm good for now burgle i can help you with i'm heading out well, brave see ya so we got some quests undertaken we still got more of this place to check out what we got freaking floating balls not every day you come across those and i do like i think that this area that this entire thing is in i think we're actually at a spider's nest so we might need to go and take down another spider Ooh. more notes order number 73 Ooh, analyzer. I find it to wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. One oh, seasoning oh, module only? IVs, not oh, to mention no. your most excellent moustaches. Okay, their mustaches are pretty excellent. I will never forget this moment. Burgle, allow me to be the second one to say you have an incredible mustache, my friend. I wish I had something like that. Anyways, I'm curious about what's in here. Because this looks like things have happened. Not good things either. We have a ball. Doing ball things. And... Where in Tarnation does this go? I kind of feel like I want a torch, bro. This is sketchy. Oh, if I walk through it, I get science. What? Did I walk through those before? I didn't get no science. Okay, I might need to mess around with those a little bit more. Is it like a secret little... 
No, no secrets here that I'm seeing. Unless there's something here. No, not really. Bummer. All right, let's go back. I want to try to walk through that other ball that there was. Because now that I know that that gives us science, I will be taking that. 500! Let's go, dude. That's actually a lot of science. So hold up. If I walk through this, will I get a ton of science? Nope. That stuff is encapsulated. So we, we got to look out for balls. Got to keep our eyes peeled. We got to become freaking ball specialists. And find them at our earliest convenience. But what I was talking about is that it appears this actually does leak out into the outside world. And I kid you not, I think that this entire base was built on top of a massive spider's nest. So we're going to do the smart thing and explore this massive nest. And oh, there's literally just like science scattered throughout here. I'm highly concerned though, because I'm really not trying to uh, fall down to the depths of spider attitude. Because if we die, we're dead. Parkour! Wish we had a freaking torch for this, man. There are some of those freaking glowy stems we might be able to grab. 100 science. But I don't really know if I want to fall down there. That looks like actually a giant bed of water. Interestingly enough, what is this place that we find ourselves in? All right, so it's a little bit dark here, but I'm going to go ahead and crank up the brightness so ideally y'all can see what's going on. It says that there's science somewhere in here. Oh! And things got a lot more purpley. And I hear spiders. Creepy, creepy crawlies. It looks like they're all down there. Oh, they've engaged us. They can't get up here, right? So if we can just shoot them from above, we're in pretty decent shape. If they can get up here, I'm running for the hills. I do, like, literally see two of these mother truckers down here. Where are they? There we got one fella. Oh, those are ants! Oh, we're in the middle of an ant hill! Yeah, you know what? I'm not exactly trying to go to war with the ants at the moment. Although, good to know that this is where an ant hill is. I think we're going to return here and try to explore this. But I will definitely come back with a torch so we can actually kind of see what's going on down there. Uh, I am curious, though. What happens if I go down into there? I'm worried if I fall down there, like, we're not going to be able to easily get back up. And we are getting hungry, too, so we got to keep that in check. Unless, like, we can get back up through this. Hey, YOLO. What's the worst that could happen? Death by insects. Give me science. We got 100 right over there. And also, I might be able to pick up some more of these slimy modes. If I get enough of them, that should be able to give us a torch so we can at least kind of start exploring this place a little bit. So we're at eight total right now. Is there any more I can pick up? It's just so annoying to stay underwater here, bruh. Hey, come on, let me up, let me up. There we go. Slurp, yeah, I'm not trying to slurp that. That appears like it goes somewhere. Can I get that slime mold torch? Oh, beautiful, like, oh, 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 English heart. It only takes two slime molds, okay. Never mind. I was a little bit mistaken there. Let there be light. Let there be light, baby. And let's see where in tarnation this takes us. It looks like the bottom half of the anthill. I really don't know if I want to be exploring an anthill at the moment. Because that's definitely the direction those ants were coming from. Although it does look like we are pretty safe. Until we manually decide to drop down there, I don't think we got to worry about actually fighting those dudes. So this is just a pretty easy access way back. So bless up. Bless up over there. Definitely a bit of a reassuring sign that we weren't about to get murked by spiders or ants or any of the above. Although we do have to worry about the spider that may or may not be awaiting us on the outside of this. What a burgle. I got some quests to go ahead and knock out. A little bit of base building too should all go according to plan. Now the moment of truth. Is this spider still lurking? Dude, it sounds like it might be. <laughs> I heard spider noises. Dude, don't tell me there's a spider. Don't do it. Say it ain't so. Okay. It appears to not be so. It's literally nighttime, though. 
and I'm hearing spooky noises. Well, nighttime has quite literally just begun, so there's not really an easy way out of this. We gotta YOLO our way back home. By the power of Helion. On the Champion lickety split, the so. Hey, you know, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die. If there's a spider out here, so be it. I'm ready to freaking uh, just dip out like no one's business. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I don't hear the threat engaged, so that's good at least. Hello, ladybug. Honestly, the ladybug. I'm gonna chill by the ladybug for a second, because if a spider is hunting me, I feel like the ladybug might be a good protector of ours. Because I don't think ladybugs are aggressive, actually. They're pretty on the chill side. Until you give them a reason not to be chill. And I think spiders would rather fight a ladybug than me. They got a lot more meat on them, you know? Oh my god, they're attacking poor little aphids. So we're gonna try and parkour our way. I'm gonna use this high ground to our advantage here. In this uncharted turf. Dude, those noises are terrifying that it makes. Uh, the question is, do I wanna use this dandelion? Do I have it equipped? I do. I think. There we go. Hey there we go. Get a little bit of hang time. And we're down in the depths. I think we could actually harvest some clovers. I was reading through the comments. Shouts out to all of y'all leaving comments, by the way. I do seriously appreciate it. I saw some of y'all saying that we can actually make armor out of clovers. Which won't be too bad of an idea. Is that spider scuttling I hear, dude? I can never tell the difference. There we go. Let's get a little bit more hang time. Just continue trying to stay on top of these logs. Let's just try to like get our bearings here. Where are we exactly? Okay, literally on the opposite side of the tree. <laughs> uh, well, at least we're going through uncharted territory. We got that going for us. But I do think we got to approach the tree a little bit. So if there is a spider... Yeah, we're gonna run into it here pretty soon. I just got like my volume up so high that like I hear all this whack stuff going on. Yeah! Parkour. I was trying to go from tree branch to tree branch, dude. I'm telling you, it's a good strategy. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself, so I'm not terrified of the consequences. That's an acorn. We're above the oak tree. I am dying of thirst right now. Oof. Spider web. Yo, this might actually be a blessing because I think Can't I collect this? Oh, I'm gonna try baby What? Okay, well if there is some way to collect it I appear to have been mistaken I don't know. I, I don't just want to leave this man. If there's a spider web right there <gasps> Might be worth capitalizing on we do have low health, which is definitely not good. But a spider web's a spider web, dude. Like, if we could... I don't know, somehow chop this thing down? Oh my god. Definitely some creepy noises. Can I, like, chop this thing down from here? How's that work? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this thing. Oh! Beautiful! We actually can't collect the spider web! Let's go! Unfortunately, I am currently stuck in a spider web, so it's a little bit of a sketchy situation, but dude, that's actually clutch! This is a very valuable resource. Oh, so as stupid as it sounds, we want to get stuck in the spider web. Because then we can go and collect spider webs! Let's go, baby! The big brain moments are through the roof. So we got nine spider silk now. We might be able to continue collecting that. But we are currently dying of thirst and hunger. I could drink that water. I can't imagine that's going to be safe for consumption, though. Okay, those scuttles are just aphids. They always sound so much more terrifying than those cute little aphids. Eh! There we go. And we can continue collecting some of those aphids we need. Oh, we got an ant over there. That might be a soldier. I can't tell. He looks like he has big mandibles. Does he? Hey, buddy. No, that's a cute... That's a cute fella. Hey, buddy. Who are you poking at over here? I kind of like having other insects nearby, because, like, if we decide to get attacked by something massive... Not decide. It's not exactly up to me. If it happens... There's other insects for them to focus on, you know? But, uh... We're making our way full circle. 
Very valuable resources in hand. Dude, things are low-key coming up, Millhouse. A flower petal? That's new. Let's go. We can make lure arrows with that. Interesting. Imagine those can actually lure enemies towards them. That could have some pretty big usages, but that spider web right by the oak tree, dude. That was seriously our savior right there. Well, it didn't save us, but pretty freaking clutch. Here we got, oh, another spider web. Dude, so spider webs just appear like they're kind of uh, in random little locations. I'll take that. Although, it just makes you think. Are there spiders near the spider webs? I, I don't I don't know, but definitely right here we got a spider web looking like location. I can't make a marker on the map. You can't actually craft markers that you can put down. I believe they're actually right here. Hey, there we go. A trail marker. I need a clover leaf. Honestly, though, I'll just take this opportunity. I'll just harvest as much spider webs as I physically can. And I'll just kind of like, there we go. That spider web's gone. And I'll just uh, call it there. So, yeah, I guess we got to run this way. According to the map, yeah, we got to go, like, approximately this way to get back to the mysterious machine. I mean, the good news is I don't think the spiders are going to be by their webs. Because, like, at nighttime, don't spiders go hunt? So, the bad news is we might get hunted. The good news is I can safely run through their home. Safely-ish? Yes? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, my God. What is that thing? Is that some science just chilling? I think so. Let's go, baby. I'll take that. Yeah, and I know that I should focus on, like, food and water and stuff, but right now I really just want to get home. So, like, if we do die, we at least die close to home. Because I'm kind of banking on dying. Not not exactly as, like, a personal option. Like, I just kind of am expecting it, you know? <laughs> but, against all odds, we might be Gucci, fam. Let's go. We got another analyzer machine over here we can utilize. I want to figure out what's up with these webs, bruv. What can you teach me about the spider silk? I can make a basketball hoop. Sick. <laughs> Flower petals? What do you know? What you know about petals? What you know about me? Raw science and a lure trap. And then the slime mold stock. Let's learn about that a little bit. Continue collecting that science. I think I want to save up for the science. Let's just build like multi-story homes. That sounds like it's going to be really cool. But oh, the big question now is, is our house still intact? Y'all, please cross your fingers for me. Because <laughs> the last time I left my house for a while and came back to it, I was kind of missing my storage basket that had all my stuff. And I suspect that it was broken into. Okay, dude, it's still here. Let's go. Against all odds. We done it, baby. We done it. We ventured our way back home after stealing Perhaps some spider silk. Oh, that is clutch. Because that now means when we get that workbench crafted up. And, dude, sleeping is so nice. Because it actually magically refills your hunger. A little bit of your health and a little bit of your water. Which is also part of the reason I mainly just wanted to get home. Hello, spider. You're the chill spider. I do got to fight some spider ants. Or, not spider ants. <laughs> uh, ant soldiers. These guys are the cute, adorable ones. The ants are douche canoes. Uh, but what I'm looking to do at the moment is craft up some of that better stuff. So, insect bow. We got everything we need. As long as our spider chunks have not gone bad. They haven't gone bad, right? No, dude. They're still intact. We got two spider chunks to use. And two of their fangs. And two of their venom. So, I think we can craft some kind of a spider item here. Oh, we are going to be moving up in this world. Dude, the insect bow is within our reach. So, how much better is that than the normal bow if we choose to craft the spring bow? About that much damage. About that much speed. Versus insect bow, it looks like twice as much damage. But do I want to invest my spider fangs into that? Or a hello, hello, hello. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay, how you doing, buddy? No, please, no, not this again. Come on! Come on, man! No! No, okay, well, we're gonna try to get this spider stuck again. <laughs> Hello, spider. Please come to my trap, little buddy. Little buddy, little buddy, little buddy. Please, please come hither. Come hither. Come hither. I think, like, we can lure this spider over here. And he... I don't know. Yo, uh... Mm, eh. I mean, he's, he's not striking out at us. Even though I am very suspicious! Oh, my God! He's a jumpy boy. He's a jumpy boy. Boop! Yeah. Eat freaking arrow, dog! Eat arrow, dog! Bop! Okay, beautiful. We hit him right there. Yeah, back it up, bro. 
back it up. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Ant, help me fight this thing. It regenerates? How's it just regenerated its health? What? We're kind of scaring it off, Loki. Yeah, back it up, bro. Get out of here, you flipping spider. Oh my god. Hello, adorable little ant. And that thing's rustling away. Oh my god. Dude, I think we've angered the spider gods. They are not happy with us. And as much, honestly, if we're going to keep getting attacked by spiders, I think I want to invest in that better bow. <laughs> but that is the one kind of cool thing is that you can kind of see the rustling in the distance. So you can kind of have a little bit of an idea when something big might be approaching you. So that's at least good to know that even though we didn't manage to get it trapped up here like I was hoping, we did at least scare it off. I do want to craft some more arrows because we need 50 arrows to kill one of those. But I guess if we upgrade our bow, we might not, not need, might not need to worry about that. So let's focus right now on, is it a utility, right? A basketball hoop. I love that. Uh, we want to get this workbench crafted up ASAP. So let's get to constructing it. I know it's not at a proper base yet, but no, did not mean to throw that. I meant to rotate this. Thank you. It's not like a proper base yet, but it's something. We will get to work on the proper base. Okay, here are the scuttles. The small scuttles? I always think they're a spider, but I got it ingrained it in my head. That's just aphids, little little scuttling around, you know? So I got the sprigs. I need a little bit of sap. I need some grass planks. Also, getting thirsty. I do think I've seen some water bubbles that like to kind of collect around these parts. There you go. Like right there. So we can get our water. We just slurp. Nice and settled up. I seriously got to invest in those hide cloths. But right now, I'm, I'm focused because of the fact that we keep getting... Spiders keep rolling through our house. So I'm trying to get this better bow crafted up. Oh, and it looks like it might be back. Oh, it's... Yeah, I see, I see you, bro. I see you, dude. Oh, my God. Is that thing still damaged from the arrows we did shoot into it? Hey, buddy. I'm going to try this again, man. I'm trying to get this spider trapped over here. He's going to lash out at us any second. You know it's going to happen. Woo! Don't break my base. That's mean. This way, mother trucker. Come on. So I think it, like, regenerates its health. Which is a little bit unfortunate for us. Because, uh... I like... When spiders decide to die. This guy is not a fan of dying. Oh my god, he's a jumpy boy, though. I think shooting him in his butt is actually does more damage to him, too. I might be tweaking on that, but I did see some comments as well saying that, like, spiders have their hearts in their butts or something, or their abdomens, or... I don't know. So, uh, maybe this will be worth something. Oh, mama, it's a jumpy boy. Hopefully, I can get these arrows back. But it looks like we have managed to get him a little bit stuck. Is this not hitting him? There we go. No, that's doing damage. We have managed to get him, like, a little bit stuck over here. But we're not going to inflict enough damage. And he can seriously jump around. But, dude, bless up. If they manage to get stuck in some of the derpiest places. Oh, my God. He just broke. Are you kidding me? He just broke my basket. You Are you serious? Get out of here. Oh, my God. That guy's the worst. That guy is confirmed the worst. He just broke my basket. Oh, my God. Are you... Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Okay, well. I have a little bit of cleaning up to do, it seems. Because... This, I, are you serious? Okay, well, I'm going to be collecting my arrows back. And... He did actually break my stuff. And now it's literally laying everywhere. Spiders are the worst, dude. Oh my god. What are you doing? Get away from my stuff. Don't you dare pick it up. Stop pushing my stuff around, man. I worked hard for that. What up, ants? Why don't you get attacked by spiders, huh? Why don't you have to deal with spiders breaking into your freaking home and destroying it? So we got about 42 arrows. We are going to need more if we want to have enough to kill one of those. But again, that's why I want to get to building this thing. So I had sap. It appears to have freaking flown everywhere. Because he broke into my basket. Like... Uh, I digress. Let's get this workbench crafted up ASAP so we can have an easier path towards killing these spiders. Because they are the worst. Confirmed. There we go. And we got to pick up three of these planks. 
And uh, let's build this thing. Dude, if the spider breaks into this, I'm about to rage. I'm about to rage hard. Uh, anyways, insect bow. I do want kind of the fang dagger. It's nice, but... And it, it's poisonous. Ooh. We don't have enough venom for it, though, so... I will settle. Let's get this insect bow. Craft it up. And let's hide back on here, because again... Oh. These guys are attacking. Oh. They're attacking that poor little thing. Stop pushing my stuff around. They're literally pushing my resources all over the place. This is why I want to build a freaking base, man. Can we not... Can we not use my base as a battleground here, ants? Come on now. Don't you dare break my freaking workbench. I just crafted that thing. Can we keep the workbench intact, please? Oh my god. You don't need to fling things everywhere, dude. I hate that spider. I cannot wait for it to come back. Actually, I can wait, but I can't wait for it to come back and another chance of killing it. Uh, what's it What's it going to take to get these guys out of our hair? But here we do have that better bow for the very first time. Say hello. Oh, look at that thing. That thing's a beauty. Let's get a little bit of target practice here. Boop. Oh, that thing almost killed it one shot. Boop. That ain't too shabby. Oh. Why is our stuff just full of flying all over the place? All right, we got to get another storage basket built up. I kind of want to hide my storage basket somewhere where ideally it's not going to get attacked by all these things. Uh, where's that basket? Where's that basket? Noises. Oh, our meat spoiled. I got to stop letting that meat spoil. I got to start cooking it a little bit faster. We have some net meat and stuff. Okay, well, our fireplace has also been broken. Great. Great. It broke everything. Okay, well, I got to rebuild a fireplace. Oh, my God. There's so many annoying things I got to do. Including craft better armor. Actually, that makes me wonder. Can I... Do I have what it takes to craft some of that better armor yet? Uh, like the ant helm. I need ant head, ant parts, and mite fuzz. I... Feel like I should have enough to do that. Although my, uh... Ant parts... May or may not have flown all over the place. I definitely had ant parts at one point. However, my storage basket is kind of, uh... Taking a turn for the worst. Because I'm not seeing ant parts anymore, so maybe we gotta go ant hunting a little bit. Maybe we can find one of those soldier ants to tussle with. Get some mandibles as well. Because those ants are chill, man. I don't want to have to fight them, but. Things gonna have to go down like that. They, after all, did push a lot of my stuff around. Alright, YOLO. We got 42 arrows. Let's do it. Let's stop talking about it. Let's start doing it. anti -poos. like to craft up some armor if that's cool. Oh, there we got one of our arrows. It's like a little trail of where the freaking spider went. You can actually see it. it. Like, I think it falls off the spider's body after a while. It looks like that's where the last one was. So, it looks like he likes to run away this way. At least from first glance. Right, let's go and collect that sap. We are still five arrows short, so maybe he's got some more in him. Maybe we just lost him somewhere along the way. I don't know. Oh, an ant head. Well, that's where one of my ant heads may or may not have flown. Why don't we... Drop that thing. Grab the ant head. Hey, buddy, don't mind me just picking up your body parts. <laughs> Hope that's cool. Dude, these, these physics are hilarious, but they're also just obnoxious. <laughs> hmm. Is that a soldier over there? No, those are normal ants. YOLO. What's the worst that could happen? Three shot kill with our brand new arrow. I could settle for that. We can collect some ant parts. They don't seem to have noticed that their best friend just died. I love it. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of some more of the spoiled meat. I don't know if it serves a direct purpose. So we can pick up ant parts, ant heads. And what's the third thing we need for some of that ant armor? Might fuzz. Might fuzz acid glands. Okay, well, these things get a little bit complicated, but it looks like might fuzz is going to be a pretty big part of things. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Are the ants? They're exacting their revenge, aren't they? Yeah, they ain't happy. They ain't happy. I don't blame them. I didn't murder your friends after all. Back it up, dudes. Back it up, dudes. Oh, that jump shot, though. That was sick. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. Fear me. I am the new god of this backyard. I killed a spider for this bow, bro. Give me those arrows back too, please. 
Oh, mite. I gotta kill that thing, actually. Get over here. That's a gnat, not a mite, but I digress. Oh, you want a tussle too, dude? Oh my god, it's stronger than our spear! Ow! It killed us. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, that thing better not be collecting my stuff. Oh, yeah! Our home broke again. We gotta run back. Luckily, it's not too far, but dang it. Oh, and there's a spider right where we were. Awesome, that thing's still lurking. You'll love to see it. But anyways, as long as our stuff's back where this ant is, it looks like that ant continues to be doing something to our body. Uh, I don't know what. Please go away, kind sir. That is uh my stuff, my stuff, my stuff. And uh, let me just go ahead and finish the job. He can't hit us from up here. Yeah, run, run, mother trucker, run. I'm angering all the ants. I need armor. Oh, oh, oh. Get booped, son. So, is that your head? Oh, I thought I could maybe pick up the head. No, don't break my workbench, man! Fight me, not the bench! Not the bench! No more of this! I'm sick of getting my crafted stuff broken into! Scuttle back over here so I can scuttle you to an early grave. Thank you. Jeeva Liba. The absolute worst, I tell you. All right, so we got this guy. Let's make sure to harvest him. Uh, collect some of those arrows that we dropped. I would like to have as many of those as humanly possible. It's time for us to also retire that bow. We don't need that anymore. That we have the insect one. Until it breaks. When it breaks, that is going to be a pretty sad day. And I think we got to go mite hunting. Oof. We haven't been attacked by mites in a while, which is honestly not the worst thing in the world. But if we want to continue crafting up this ant armor, I reckon we got to go to the south. Because I think that is where we saw a lot of mites. Okay, you, dude. Oh, come on, get back here. Okay, why don't I, uh... Yeah. No, not like that! Oh my god, I think I actually managed to hit it, too. I keep throwing R to try and reload the bow. I forget that I just have to shoot the dang thing. A little bit of target practice. Hey, buddy, come on. Baby, won't you come my way? Ah! Oh! Get wrecked, scrub. Oh, no, don't drink water. Just give me the arrows and mite fuzz, please. Or gnat fuzz. Not mite fuzz. Aphid. Oh! <laughs> he looks so startled for just one second. I am sorry, Aphid. That? My screen just shook a lot. Okay, it's not because of spiders nearby. I thought that meant that something big was going to be nearby. Nah, 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 nah. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so, I mean, we got a little bit of inventory room, and we got a brand new weapon. I am a little bit scared because we did see the spider this way, but I was going to say we could go and try to find some of those mites. But okie dokie, y'all. With all that said, with all that done, we've had a pretty eventful episode today already between our, well, uh, panicked return back from the oak tree that all in all went pretty okay we did find an anthill that i'm pretty excited to explore in the future on top of what you what is that over here lemon crime puncho whatever that means uh but on top of that we have managed to build up a significantly better bow which i think i might try and save specifically for spider fights and stuff like that because it'll take half as many because i think it does twice as much damage and then on top of that what was i going to say uh I think next episode, literally to start things off, we might go and get some of that mite fuzz just so I can get that armor first and foremost. And then hopefully along the way, we can find a cool place to build because I want to start building a permanent, like a more permanent location. I want to start putting down some walls. I really got to get to that. We got a little bit sidetracked today. Ooh, science. Got a little bit sidetracked today, but for good reason. Oh, and here we got another aphid. I got to kill a few more of these little things. So aphid, a sayonara take you down we got to kill like one more aphid after that and then one more gnat and we'll have a few of the daily quests done and i still got to analyze quartzite but we still got to go and like harvest that i gotta like build a hammer and stuff i suppose we could do that when i return hey scuttler get back here mr scuttler okay well i lost him dang it oh that he is oh he's already running away dude he knows i'm nearby all right well i don't care Yay! i got a bow and arrow baby hey stay away that's my meat dog it's my meat and my arrow. Now I just got to wait for one more gnat to start freaking buzzing around. But uh, as we wait for that, yeah, when we do return, I think that's the game plan. Try to get some of our ant armor crafted up. Venture around to the south. Do a little bit of exploration. See if there are any places that I would potentially want to settle down and start building a base around. And then uh, hopefully start moving our little... Our little... I'm not going to call this a base, but our little, I guess, home camp a little bit. And we can recycle the workbench. So we'll be able to move that around. And once we have some better armor, I think it should be pretty within the realm of reason to get the ant helmet and ant knee guards crafted. I do not yet have acid glands. I'm not sure. 
where we exactly get that through, but it is used in ant arm glands, so we gotta worry about that. And besides that, we can't get any of the spider armor crafted up. Berry leather? What is berry leather? But I will be keeping my eyes peeled for more spiders. Ideally, we can get them trapped and kill them, or even just battle them 1v1 style. Take them down, collect some more of their parts, and continue crafting up even better resources, but... Definitely looking forward to getting a little bit of base building done, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, plenty more grounded coming your lads and lassies way. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Grounded Survival. Oh yeah, and when we return, I gotta, ideally that's where I want to build a base first, so we can then actually build storage baskets that don't just get destroyed by literally anything. And I gotta build another lean-to to get past the next nighttime, which is approaching, well, uh, somewhat. But uh, yeah, that's going to go to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for the whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.